This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the focus Q, of course, and you can see the amount of hydrogen that's flowing through the system. The focus Q is kind of unique in that it's a twin cell system. There's your amp there's the amperage that's causing that. So we're basically talking about uh, eight amps. And you can see that tube is not a quarter inch tube as you see in most of the other videos. One of the things on the videos I noticed on the YouTubes is that they're using quarter inch tubes. This is by no means close to that. This is the water return system over here. You can see the amount of pressure that's going coming back down through the tube system. Again, this is a lot bigger than a quarter inch. The Focus Q has nine plates, stainless steel plates, which you can configure any way that you feel is the optimum. You don't have to use all nine plates, and in this case, what you're looking at is using one, two, three, four, five plates, three neutrals in the center. There's so much output here, there's no way even to stand by this on an open configuration. It's just too much. So tomorrow I'll be configuring a closed system and showing you the output. The output you saw here was around uh, 6, 7 amps at 12 volts. You can see the twin cell. Here's a good view of the uh, twin cell side those bubbles, I've already turned the system off, these bubbles are just uh, still coming through. If you want to go to hydrogentap.com you can see this system. Very good shots on it. Or you can write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com if you have any other questions. The way this cell comes shipped, it comes with the nine plates and you can hook them up in any way that you want including positive, negative, positive, negative of course. One of the things I'm finding out and one of the reasons I'm having difficulty measuring out output is because by the different neutral plate positions I can get different outputs. Also the other problem is when you space your electrodes farther apart, you have to put more of the electrolyte in. What you're doing is lowering the amperage on the system and every time I think I have a better rating I find out I can do it differently. This is the view of the input the flow back to the cells. All the Focus Q systems that I'm shipping now come with a different plate, a non-magnetic stainless steel. Each plate here is 6 by 12. If you're interested in a real good system, the system that you can build on, this is the one. The Q is by far one of the best systems out there, which I intend to demonstrate.
each one of these plates is spaced approximately an eighth of an inch apart. One of my better ideas has been to put this extra T on here which allows me to drain the whole system with by just pulling this plug. There's just so much you can do with this system, it is incredible. The focus Q, you'll be able to literally place one system upon the other, so you have two twins if you like. It just configuration is limitless. One of the things I have done for you, if you do own an Aaron cell, there is a very, very good trade up for you if you go to hydrogentap.com. Again, you can write me at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com or just go to hydrogentap.com and you can see some very good stills of it. This is the Focus Q. There is one last thing. I I finally did put this up on eBay. So for any of you who are interested, if you type in Aaron Cell or John Aaron Cell, you'll find the Focus Q up there.